it's Bridget M. Shoop, the Crystal Healing Gypsy here, and I'm here to say Happy Mineral Moon Day. Yes, it is Mineral, Mineral Moon Day, and I'm here with my Mineral of the Month, and I'm so excited to share with you guys. It is, I feel like I need a drum roll, Moldavite. Boop, boop. All right, let's see. All right, can you guys see that? I know it's really hard to see, but that is Moldavite. Have you ever heard of it before? So Moldavite is super high vibrational. Um, I, you guys can't even tell the beauty of this really because like if you were to hold it up to a light, you can really see some beautiful colors in there. So anyways, Moldavite, that is my mineral moon day today. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So that way you guys know a little bit more about Moldavite. So Moldavite is um, on the most hardness scale. It's like a five, six, somewhere in there. Um, it works with your heart chakra and your third eye. And um, it actually helps with all zodiac signs. So when we talk about zodiac signs, um, usually it helps balance out the negative and the positive qualities within your sign. And um, so usually, you know, certain signs resonate more with certain crystals. Well, Moldavite here actually um, works with all zodiac signs, so it can help benefit all of us, so it doesn't matter what sign you are. Um, it comes from all the way from the Czech Republic, and it's the only place in the world that you can find Moldavite. Um, because of that, it is high in price, and in addition to that, it's starting to become mined out and kind of harder to find because of the supply and demand situation. Um, so Moldavite is usually, it's considered a rare crystal. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's considered a rare crystal to get your hands on. So um, if you do come across it, um, it's usually sold by the gram. And um, if you find it and it's not sold by the gram, um, I, you might want to question it. Usually um, that's why it's so expensive though, is because it's sold by the gram. So anyways let me talk a little bit more about this a little friend um, so it was found about 15 million years ago back in the Czech Republic and it was found over in the Moldu River area and thus getting the name Moldavite and um, what happened was a meteorite actually hit the earth and the heat and the impact from that meteorite hitting the earth actually fused and melted the earth with the meteorite so Moldavite is considered a tektite, and the interesting thing about tektites is they're usually in color a brown or black. And um, so that's what makes Moldavite stand out so much is because it's green in color. As you can see, it's this beautiful green color, and it's usually dark green to light to medium colored green. It's usually a fairly dark green though. And um, so it, it does stand out because in the, t the tick tight family, it's, it's a colorful one, so it's really pretty. And um, tech tights just in general are a, a glassy type mixture of silicon dioxide, aluminum oxide, and other metal oxides fused together. And that's what makes them the way they are. So when you find Moldavite, you're going to notice that, and I don't know if, if you guys will be able to tell, but it's very bubbly and has lots of inclusions going on. Um, if you were to take a jeweler's loop and stick it up to your eye and look, you can actually see like the bubbles in it. And sometimes you'll see like little black lines in there and stuff. So it, it has lots of inclusions in it. Uh, so... That's something to look for when you're uh, purchasing Moldavite. You want to look for something that has the bubbles. That is definitely something that they can't fake. And sadly, because these are rare and hard to come by, people are starting to fake them on the market, which is super uncool. I think that is horrible that people are doing that because... You know, only people who are, you know, trained with crystals and learning this stuff would know if it's fake or not. So here's some things that you guys can think about when or look for when buying Moldavite. So one thing, of course, is going to be the price. Like I talked about earlier, it's going to be higher in price. So if it's super duper cheap, then the likelihood of it being a real piece of Moldavite is probably not true. 
Um, another thing is the shape. So as you can see, the shape is very different, right? It's not like formed, it's not, it's its, its own little shape. And each one of these shapes are different. So you're never gonna find two alike. Like this is a one of a kind piece. You're never gonna find another piece that looks just like this one. And that's something really important to look about, look for when you're purchasing Moldavite. If they all look, like if the vendor has them and they all look the exact same, then it's not real Moldavite. Those have been molded <laughs> and not real. So be aware you're looking for something that's, you know, unique. Each shape is going to be different because it was an impacted crystal that came about. So there's no way for them to be the exact same look. Um, another thing is again, looking for the bubble inclusions, like you're looking for, it has these natural like etchings on them. Again, I know it's kind of hard to tell in here, but it has these natural etchings and you know, with glass, I mean, they're getting a little bit better at faking them, but for the most part, they can't really fake those etchings. So that's kind of what you're looking for is those etched spots and the bubble inclusions. And, you know, they're translucent. So if you hold it up to the light, you can see through it um, and you can kind of make out those bubbles in there. So, you know, that's something to look for. Um, and so look for those bubbles because if it's flat, like if it's, uh, if there's no bubbles and it's really like clear looking, then it's glass, my friends. So that's something to really think about when you're purchasing Moldavite. Um, so because of its impact with the earth and it came, it was coming from a meteor. So it has extra terrestrial connections as well as terrestrial. So because of that, it's very, very, very high vibrational. And another thing about it is um, it has the ability to connect you with other worlds and other beings. So it is very, um, it gives you that cosmic connection. You get to become very more interconnected with other beings in other worlds. So, and that's of course, if you choose to work in that fashion with Moldavite. But that is one of the things that I think most people are drawn to it for. Um, for me, I wanted to um, take my spiritual enlightenment to the next level. And that's what drew me to Moldavite after researching and such. And so, yeah, like that is the main, you know, information on Moldavite. Um, again, be careful when purchasing. Um, you know, uh, one company that I know is really fabulous is called Inner Vision Crystals. They're out of New York. They sell the real deal stuff. And in fact, I'm wearing one of their pieces. Um, this is, I don't know how close I need to get for this, but this is a necklace I recently got um, from them. And you can see that piece of Moldavite in there. Sorry, I'm twisting it the wrong way. <laughs> is beautiful in color. Like if you guys could see it in person, it is like out of this world beautiful. And they faceted it. So they took and they like, you know, cut it to be like jemmy. And this is the most jemmy piece of freaking Moldavite I've ever seen in my life. So I was like so excited to um, have it a part of my life. And so yeah, I really, really love this piece. Um, so just to sum it up, Moldavite is very high vibrational. Make sure you guys read my blog and you'll learn a little bit more about my story with Moldavite. Um, but it's very high vibrational. It can, can connect you to other beings in other worlds, other planets and such. And it is an accelerator. It really accelerates your spiritual growth and awareness and intuition. And it also helps you work from the heart. So it really helps you accelerate your self-love and by doing that, it actually helps you be able to share that love to others. So, you know, do be careful with Moldavite because of its high vibration. It does, you know, I would recommend working with it in small doses. Like don't carry it on you all day long, especially at first when you're first working with it because you can have some physical issues come up. Um, again, read my blog to learn about what happened to me. But um, so that is my advice about Moldavite. I absolutely love working with Moldavite and I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my little friend Moldavite here. He was so excited to speak for this crystal channeling on my blog. So make sure you guys check out what he had to say because he had a lot to say. <laughs> All right, you guys. I am hoping you have a magical week and I am sending you light loves and lunar hugs. Mwah. Bye.